Good evening to parishioners here and friends of St Francis Xavier. My name is Paul, as you might know, and I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration on the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the Gospel, a man in search of the meaning and purpose of life ran up to Jesus, knelt before him and put this question to him. Good Master, what must I do to in inherit eternal life? He went to Jesus as a wise teacher who can counsel him. In this Mass, we pray for the intentions of all parishioners and friends. For all our sick, Hannah Law Makovic, John Coburn, Leonie Solomon, Bernadette, Josie Eusebio, Amadio Saka, and Harry Lord. And for the repose of the souls of Mary Wise, Barbara Gionio, Shirley Fitch, and Danielle Geronimo, Lorraine Perry. Would you please stand and join in the prayer to St. Joseph. St. Joseph, you were receptive to God working in your life. Help us by your prayers at this time of trial. You kept Jesus and Mary under your watchful care. May your prayers assist our local church to respond to those in need. You taught the Christ child your trade and prayers. Help us to follow this example of love. You were part of God's plan for all humanity. Assist us to be vigilant and responsible this day. You spent your life in service. May we be mindful of others, particularly the elderly and vulnerable caring for them in those difficult times. You trusted in the promise of God, of history and every situation. Help us to grow in faith and pray to the Father, thy will be done. Amen. Before we begin this Mass, I made an announcement that uh, we have problem with our toilet here. So for 
anyone who needs the toilet, it is uh, the other building beside the church. It is marked. So the toilet is blocked. So just for your information. Good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and be mindful of our sins. I confess and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary Virgin, all dangers and sins, and you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. In this Mass, we pray for the recovery of Peter Fish. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, surround us always and make us determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no priceless stone to be her peer, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light since her radiance never sleeps. In her company all good things came to me, at her hands riches not numbered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in the responsorial psalm. Fill us with your love, O Lord. Find Lord. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent in your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, 
fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all of our days. Give us joy to balance our affection for the years when we knew mission. Show forth your workers to your respect. Let us glory shine on their children. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for your joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is something alive and active. It cuts like any double-edged sword, but more finely. It can slip through the place where the soul is divided from the spirit, or joints from the marrow. It can judge the secret emotions and thoughts. No creation the thing can hide from him. Everything is uncovered and open to the eyes of the one to whom we must give account of ourselves. The word of the Lord. Welcome the good news. Happy the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus was setting out on a journey. When a man ran up, knelt before him and put this question to him. Mas, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not bring false witness. You must not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Master, I have kept all these from my earliest days. Jesus looked st steadily at him and loved him. And he said, there is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything you own and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But his face fell at these words and he went away sad for he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked round and said to his disciples, how hard is it for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God? The disciples were astounded by these words, but Jesus insisted, my children, how hard it is to, to enter the kingdom of heaven. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man 
to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than ever. In that case, they said, no one, they said to one another, who can be saved? Jesus gazed at them. For people, he said, it is impossible, but not for God. Because everything is possible for God. Peter took this up. What about us? He asked him. We have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, father, children, or land for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not be repaid a hundred times over houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, not without persecution. Now, in this present time and in the world to come, eternal life. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. The Lord is good, and all the time. Please sit. The first reading taken from the Book of Wisdom underscored the importance of the gifts of understanding and wisdom. As we heard in the first reading of today, it said, I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. And these two gifts help us to pierce you know, the life of God, to know more about the life of God and what is valuable in life and what is not. Because as you heard in the first reading, compared to the gift of wisdom and understanding, riches is like nothing. Because with these two gifts, we understand the life of God. We understand the things that are important in this life. Just like the book of Ecclesiastes will tell us, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. So what are the things that are essential that will make us be happy forever? So in the gospel of today, we are told that a man in search of life, in search of eternal life, in search of the essence of life, actually ran. Not just that he walked, no. He ran to Jesus and he knelt down before him and he said to Jesus, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? That's why we're here. That at the end of our earthly existence, that we may be one with God, that we may see, behold God face to face, that is all we long for. If after all our struggles in this world, and we do not behold God in the end, 
then we have wasted our time. So when he asked Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, wow, you have the scriptures with you. You have the commandments of God. Especially those of them that are, have been codified into the Ten Commandments. You must not kill. You must not steal. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. Honor mommy. Honor daddy. Do that. And eternal life will be yours. The Lord is God. Are we in business? Yes. And then this young man said, wow. No, in fact, from my youth, I've been keeping these precepts of the commandments. I've been faithful in keeping them. And we're told that Jesus gazed at him and loved him. He gazed at him. He could see honesty. He gazed at him and he, he could see somebody that genuinely make an effort to be good. And he said he loved him. Just like Jesus also told Nathanael in the Gospel of John, here is an Israelite that is not deceitful when he saw Nathaniel. Just he could gaze at him and say, wow, this is an upright person. So then, when Jesus told this man, do this, and the, and the young man said, well, I've been practicing this already. Jesus gazed at him and loved him and felt, wow, now you need to move a step up in your journey towards perfection. Just like Jesus tell, uh, tells us in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. So Jesus said, what? Oh, now, okay, you have done this and you feel that it's not enough for you and you want to do something more, now I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you. You are going to do something more. Now go sell all your wealth, all your riches, and use, it, use the money to do charity. Then come and become my disciple. Come and be one of those that will remain with me and be sent out. And we're told that this radical demand that Jesus presented to the man who felt that he needed something more was somehow too much for him. Jesus wanted him to empty himself just as he, Jesus, has emptied himself as Paul tells us in the letter he wrote to the Philippians, that though Jesus is God, but he emptied himself and became human. And also in the second letter he wrote to the Corinthians, that though Jesus was rich, but for our sake he became poor, that we all might be enriched. So he, he, so he now wanted this man to also share in his own life by emptying himself. But it was very difficult for the young man. And we heard in the gospel of today that, you know, he felt sad and left. The fact that he felt sad as he was living meant that he understood that the forgotten alternative was greater than what he had. The forgotten alternative was becoming the disciple of Jesus. He felt that that 
was more important than his wealth. But at this moment, he was not ready yet to give up his wealth. So he sadly left Jesus. And then Jesus then used the opportunity then to talk about wealth. So Jesus said that how difficult it is for wealthy people, for rich people to enter eternal life. Among the Jews, and I think also among many cultures, we see wealth as a blessing from God. Yes, genuine uh, wealth is a blessing from God. But sometimes people become wealthy by embezzling public funds. Sometimes people become wealthy by defrauding others. Sometimes people become wealthy by engaging in uh, illegal business like maybe selling drugs and so on and so forth. So if you become wealthy in this, through these means, illegal means, then that is not a good wealth. But if it's through hard work that you became wealthy, then, and you use your wealth to leave people out of poverty and to make the world a better place, then you are also building treasure for yourself in heaven, as Jesus told the young man to sell his, uh, his property and then give the money to the poor so that he can build treasures for himself in heaven. But if your wealth is gotten in a rotten way, then you are not building treasures for yourself in heaven. So good wealth is a gift from God. But sometimes, sometimes, God may want us to give up a good for a greater good. Are you with me? Are we in business? Yes. So sometimes God can ask, want us to give up a good for a greater good. Like give up the wealth, Jesus told the young, uh, the, the young man for, to become his disciple. So which is a greater good. So my friends today, to bring my homily to a close, Jesus calls everyone to be his disciple. But not everyone is called to a radical relationship with him. We pray that we may always have the grace to say yes to the call of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is good. Another time. Please stand. I believe in one God. May God of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things we are made, for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated right. Come again, glory to joy to live in the day. In the kingdom we have no end. I believe in one whole, holy, proceeding from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Sisters and brothers, the call to follow Jesus requires sacrifice, but it also comes, it, but it also carries the pledge of eternal life. That all participating in the Synod in Rome with Pope Francis will, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, explore its themes of communion, participation, and mission. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the distress of war engulfing Palestine, Israel and Lebanon, Ukraine and Russian, Yemen, Myanmar and Sudan, and the violence in Haiti will give way to peace through dialogue, diplomacy and humility. As we pray for those affected by storms and floods, we'll receive the help they need to recover and rebuild. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That whatever material possessions or money which we have, we will never allow them to control us, but rather we will use them for the good of others, especially the poor and disadvantaged. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who have left everything for the sake of the kingdom of God will, with freedom, serve others in the name and spirit of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our sick family members and friends, Hannah Law Bakafox, John Coburn, Leone Solomon, Bernadette Amadoa Saka, John McCready, Brian Brooks, Josie Yuzibio. May they be surrounded by the love of family and friends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our recently deceased family members and friends. Mary Wise, Shirley Fitch, Daniel Geronimo, Lorraine Perry, Greg Andrews, Monica Gray, the suffering souls in purgatory, and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Alison Gomes, Neville Simpson, Barbara Guiono, may they follow Mary and all the saints into the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pause and pray with our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Eternal Father, let your favor be upon us, so that knowing the shortness of our lives, 
we may have wisdom of heart and sing your praise with joy through Christ our Lord. That your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death. Summoning us to the glory of being uncalled, a chosen race, 
a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, number three. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking, of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we're there to say, Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all useless distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us extend to each other the peace and the love of Christ. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. A crown of thorns placed on his head He knew that he would soon be dead He said, did you forget me, Father, did you? They nailed him to a wooden cross Soon all the world would feel the loss Of Christ the King before us Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He hung his head and prepared to die, then lift his face up to the sky. I am coming home now, Father, to you. A reed which held his final sip was gently lifted to his lips. He drank his last and gave his soul to glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who had used his sword 
to pierce the body of our Lord. So truly this was Jesus Christ, our Savior. He looked with fear upon his sword, then turned to face his Christ and Lord, fell to his knees, crying hallelujah, hallelujah. As we take up the second collection, I invite you to read the announcements. I may stress a few of them. Um, can you also please listen to this announcement? It's a very important one. It's Father Chinua's birthday this weekend. Can we sing happy birthday to him? 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Father Chinua. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. So please, we are appealing uh, want once a month to have a group, you know, to do detailed cleaning in our church. Though know, there's someone that comes every week on Friday, you know, he does the cleaning, but sometimes, you know, not every nook and uh, cranny of the church is clean. So, and also the surrounding. So we want once a month, you know, we do some cleaning. So please, you are, the details, you have it in the bulletin there. Please, once a month. All those that give their thanksgiving through the envelope, we have new set of envelopes in the foyer. Please, pick yours. But all those that give a true direct debit, please, you do not have envelope. But those who still give through the envelope, please pick one after mass. Finally, we have been announcing about our spring dinner dance. Hmm? I hope these two young ones looking at Father Chino has bought a ticket already. So the ticket is on sale after mass. Eh? Yes, please. It's a way of supporting our parish, as I've announced. We took a loan of $98,000. As you came into the church, you can see the renovation has started. It's $98,000 plus interest that we have to pay back. So this is a way of raising some money. So please consider. And it is five-star eh? treatment, three-cost meal. Eight man, woman band. Beautiful floor, the best one. Yeah? So just come, have fun, and then contribute and you know, help the church pay back her loan. So thank you all for being present. Any visitor, come, anyone coming here for the first time today? Anyone here, first time visiting, so that we acknowledge you? Okay. Any birthday babies around? Those that celebrate their birthday in October, they can raise up their hands and we acknowledge them. Okay. Okay. October is the best month to be born. Okay. So we wish all October in the babies, including Father Chinua, happy birthday. Again, we can give all of them big applause. Please, if you stand, we conclude. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings and protection of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go forth in peace, for this mass is ended. And thanks for participating.